In this video, I show you how to set up A-B split testing in system so you can test different elements on your landing page to find out what's converting best for you. So this is really easy to set up, but there's just a couple of important things you need to get right. Now, if you get value out of this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is a funnel I have set up in my system account and I'm running an A-B test on this particular funnel at the moment. So once you're running the A-B test, you'll see the statistics box that appear at the bottom. And so currently there's been 84 visitors or views have been sent to each different page. And at the moment, this page, the bottom one is converting slightly better. So I've had 11 opt-ins on this page and 10 opt-ins on this page. So what I've got set up in this funnel is I've got the landing page here, which leads to the bridge page and the bridge page leads to the thank you page. So that's the original funnel. And then I duplicated the opt in page, which is this page here. So that's the B variant. So this is also a landing page, which will also lead to the bridge page in turn will lead to the thank you page. So you'll end up essentially with something like this. So this is the original landing page, leads to the bridge page, leads to the thank you page. But now variation B page also leads to the bridge page, leads to the thank you page. So I'm going to show you now how to set this up step by step with another funnel. So if you go back to funnels, and I'm going to choose a different funnel from my list. Uh, let's choose this one here. And now in this funnel, there's only two pages set up. So there's the landing page and the thank you page. And that's fine because we're only going to test the landing page. So let's go with this funnel. So just to show you, the landing page looks like this and the thank you page looks like this. So currently what's set up is if I select the landing page and I go to edit, let me just show you when a person submits their information here, they click the button to subscribe to our list and receive the free lead magnet. And now here in the left menu here, it says action when button clicked to submit the form. And then what do you want to do afterwards? Redirect them to the next step. So because this is selected from the drop down here, this is why when a person submits their information on the landing page, they'll automatically be redirected to the thank you page. So now in order to set up the A-B test, what we need to do is create first a duplicate of our landing page. So hover over these dots, click duplicate, confirm. And now you see here where it says copy. This is an exact copy of our landing page. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to rename this to test B, just so it's very clear for us what this page is all about. Now, if you remember on the original landing page, that button, when a person submits the opt-in form, it says to move the person to the next step. So now the thank you page is no longer the next step. So I'm going to move this down. So the thank you page is still the next step. But what I need to do is I need this landing page to also redirect to this thank you page. So in order to do that, I'm going to select the thank you page and I copy this URL here, copy this URL. Then I'm going to come to our second landing page, the B test, select this, go to edit. And now here, select your button. And now instead of submitting the form and sending the person to the next step, you know, send them to a custom URL and then paste your URL in this redirect box here. Click save changes. And now since we're on page B, this is num this is page B. When you run a split test, ideally really you should just change one element at a time. Like if I change the whole landing page and change loads of different things, I'm not really going to know what specific element was responsible for the increase or decrease in conversions. So for example, if you just want to test the headline only, you change your headline and that's it, don't change anything else. Or if you want to change the color of the button, you think um, maybe a red button might improve conversions over an orange button, then on this page you could only change that one feature. Or if you want to change the background image or whatever it is, just change one thing at a time. That way you can and then know exactly what things are helping your pages or making them not so good. So in this case, just for simplicity, I'm just going to change the color of this button. So if I select this and come to the menu on the side and I'm going to change it to red. OK, so that's the only difference on page B now from page A. Click Save Changes and if we view the page, there we go. That's the page B with the red button. Now come back to our main funnel steps. And now to set up the A-B test, what we need to do is come back to the original landing page and come to A-B test. And now from here, we need to choose the variant page. And now the variant page is page B and the goal page, which is the page we're sending people to once they've opted into this page is the thank you page. So click save here and then start test. And now that A-B test is up and running and you'll see the statistics box will appear at the bottom. So over time, you can monitor this and you can see your page views and then you can see the conversion rate of each page. 
Now to test these pages, just to show you that they're still functioning how they should, let's go back to the original landing page first, let's go to the funnel step, and it's telling me now that there's an A-B test running. Yes, I know that. So I'm going to ask to preview page A first of all, the original page. And I'm going to opt in here and just to double check that I am actually being redirected to that thank you page. And submit. And there we go. I'm sent to the thank you page. Now let's just test the same thing with page B. So here's page B. You see the button's red. That's the only difference. And let's opt in again, and hopefully we're redirected to that same thank you page. There we go. So the funnel is all working correctly, all set up, and the A-B testing page is now live. So now another really important thing to know is that you only get one A-B test on the free plan, but you can build up to three funnels. So this means you're only going to be able to test one of your pages on one of your funnels. So it's a bit limited there on the free plan. So if you need more, then you'll need to upgrade to the standard plan or beyond. On the standard plan, you get 10 A-B tests across 10 different funnels. So standard plan is $27 a month, or you can save 30% if you pay annually. However, I have a unique link that will give you 40% off the startup plan instead of just 30% like everybody else will get. So this link is in the description below this video, and it's only for entrepreneur subscribers. So on this page, you'll be able to get 40% discount every single year that you continue to use the standard plan. So this will mean you'll only be paying $16.40 per month instead of $27 per month like everybody else. So it's going to save you $127. So this is a no-brainer offer if you want to use system. So just so you know, this deal will give you 40% off the standard plan. Every single year you continue to use the standard plan. But if in the future you then want to upgrade to the webinar plan or the unlimited plan, you'll be moved on to the 30% discount for those plans. But you get 40% off on the startup plan. Now, if you want to know how to set up your whole funnel with your landing page, your thank you page, and all your automated email sequences, then this is the next video you want to watch. In that video, I'm also going to show you how to create an ebook super fast using AI that you can use as a lead magnet. And if you need to know how to set up a whole course and system with a funnel and an automated email sequence, then this is the next video you want to watch.